Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel! In today's video, we're going to be making a really cute dish scrubby. And I'm going to be using scrubby yarn, of course. This kind I got at Hobby Lobby. But you can find scrubby yarn just about everywhere because there are so many different brands that make scrubby yarn. So surely you'll be able to find some. I'm going to be using this one that is the Scrubology Scrub It. And uh, for this project, let's see, this is like a thick kind of chunky scrubby yarn. It's really cool and fun to work with. For this project, you'll also want a six millimeter hook. This is a J hook. And you'll also want a pair of scissors and um, a yarn needle for weaving in your ends at the end. So to start out, we're going to make a little slip knot and then I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And now in my fourth chain from the hook, I'm going to do a double crochet and then 10 more double crochets so that I will have 11 double crochets all together in this little chain, but we'll be counting that first chain three as a double crochet. So all together we'll have 12 double crochets. So put your 10 more in that little chain and then I'll see you on the other side of our little circle. All right, so once we've got our 11 double crochets and our little chain three, we'll have 12 double crochets. And we're going to slip stitch to the top of our very first starting chain. And you can see I'm going to be crocheting over the end of my end, or my beginning yarn, just to kind of cover it up and hide it. Now I'm going to chain three to once again count as a double crochet. And then in that same place where I just joined with my slip stitch and made the chain three, I'm going to place another double crochet. Now I'm going to be placing two double crochets in every double crochet around, but I'm going to be going in the back loop only, not the two loops there. So I'm just going to be grabbing the back loop only and doing double crochet, two of them in every crochet around. Now, by going through the back loop only, it leaves the front loop unworked, which leaves like a little ridge, which actually gives you a little extra scrubby power in your scrubby. So that's why we're doing that there. It leaves a little ridge that makes it uh, a little scrubbier. So go ahead and continue around with your two double crochet in the back loop only of every double crochet. And I'll see you on the other side of the circle. Once you have worked two double crochets in the top of every double crochet, you should have 24 double crochets all together. Now that's including your starting chain three. So you'll have chain three and 23 double crochets all the way around. So we're going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning chain three once again, and then chain three, one, two, three, and now in the next stitch, we're going to be placing two double crochets. Once again, working in the back loop only. So there's one and a two. Now in the next stitch, I'm going to place one double crochet. Now I'm going to just repeat that all the way around doing two double crochets and then one double crochet all the way around the circle. So at the end of this round, you should have 36 double crochets and I'll see you on the other side. Once you have your 36 double crochets, we're going to slip stitch into the top of our beginning chain three once again. And now you can grab those scissors because we can cut our yarn and weave in our ends. And now you'll want to repeat so that you have two of those little circles. 
Now we're gonna get started on the handle. So for the handle, you're going to make a little slip knot and then we're going to chain 13. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Now in the second chain from the hook, we're gonna do two single crochets. So here's one single crochet and two single crochet. Now moving up our chain, we're going to do 10 single crochets. Here's one and two, three single crochet, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here is 10. Now in the very last chain, we're going to do four single crochets. And that's gonna get us around the corner. So here's one, here's two, here's three, and four single crochets. Now we're going to be working on the other side of our chain and we're going to do 10 single crochets going back up. So here's one. You can see we're working on the exact opposite side of the previous single crochets made. Here's three, four, five, here's six, seven single crochets, eight, here's nine, and 10. And now we're back at the first chain where we've already placed two single crochets. We're going to place two more in there. So here's one, and a two. Now we're going to just slip stitch into the top of that very first single crochet to finish off our handle. And now once again, you can cut your yarn and weave in your ends. And now we're ready to grab the other two pieces of our scrubby and start sewing everything together. So flip one over and then put the other one on top and we're gonna be putting the handle on as well, all together in this one final step. But we're gonna start with just the two scrubbies first. And so we're going to make a little slip knot and then pull that off of our hook. We're gonna be working in back loops only, so we're gonna grab the back loop of one little side of the front little scrubby piece and then the back loop of the second one and then grab our slip knot and pull it on through and make a little chain one. Now in that same place, we're going to do a single crochet. Now, I'm, so we've got one single crochet done. I'm gonna do 10 more, so I'll have a total of 11 single crochets. So this one is two single crochets Here's three, here's four, here's five, here's six single crochets, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and 11 
So now we're gonna grab our little handles and place it kind of on top. We're gonna to be going through the handle to secure it onto our little sponge. So I'm gonna push through the single crochet. That's a little tough because that's where my slip stitch was to connect, but we're going through it and then through the two back loops and then yarn over and pull all the way through. So we're just doing a slip stitch to connect it. Now go under the next single crochet on our handle and then through the back loops, yarn over and pull through. And now our handle is secured on one side. Now we're gonna continue around our scrubby back loops only with the same single crochets, just like we were doing. And we're gonna do 16 of them. So there was one and here's two, here's three, and four and five and just continue on until you've got 16 and then we're going to connect our handle with two more slip stitches all right so this is my 16th single crochet and now we're ready to attach our handle on this other side so we're going to go through the top of the single crochet and then through back loop back loop yarn over and pull through all of the layers and then do that one more time through the single crochets and then through back loop back loop yarn over and pull through all the layers and now I have five more single crochets to finish off my circle so that my scrubby is all the way closed so here's one little single crochet there's two here's three and four oh, oh. There we go, <laughs> and five. And now we can slip stitch to the top of our very first single crochet. And now we can cut our ends and weave in our ends, cut our yarn, weave in our ends <laughs> because our scrubby is complete. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I think these scrubbies are so fun to make because they go together really easily. The yarn is so easy to work with. It's pretty and sparkly and comes in all different colors. I love this because I know that when you go to the store, it's sometimes hard to find uh, like sponges and scrubbies in pretty colors but you know if you have to do dishes you might as well have the right tools that make dishwashing a little more fun you know what I mean <laughs> so if you can have a sparkly scrubby that matches your house that's way more fun than the plain yellow and green ones that you get at the store right so I hope you guys liked this this is not only fun for you this is a fun gift for maybe a housewarming present or something maybe somebody's getting a new house and having scrubbies that match the new decor of the new home would be really fun and this is also a really great thing to make at um, to sell at markets if you like to sell your crochet so thank you so much for joining me and comment down below all the pretty colors that you're making your scrubbies in all right I'll see you guys in the next video bye